So the general scheme maneuver for Bougainville 2 was to establish and operate expeditionary advanced bases uh, across the island of Oahu. We conducted an air insert up to Dillingham Airfield on the north shore of Oahu, secured that key maritime terrain, and then flowed a follow-on forces such as a Gator radar into that maritime terrain, established and then operated that expeditionary advanced base. From there, we secured and operated that EAB for approximately five days. And at that point, we then uh, conducted convoy operations down to Barber's Point. So having that Gator radar there really provides not only the Marine Corps and the MLR, but really the Joint Force, a forward sensor on the leaning edge in, inside the WES that can actually sense and make sense on behalf of the Joint Force to cue targeting, to cue follow-on forces. The most difficult part of the training was really identifying all of the friction points that are associated with securing and operating that expeditionary advanced base. There's a lot of things that you just can't account for in planning. Really having to think through and execute all of the finer level details, all the small unit leaders that have to do small unit leader tasks in order to make the overall mission successful. The main difference between Bougainville 2 and other exercises we've done to date is that this is really the first time the MLR has taken the MAGTAF together, task organized, put boots on the ground, and conducted EABO. Uh, getting the team together to do the detailed planning are things that we've done before, but this is really the first time that we had the opportunity to go from planning all the way through execution. This was the first time with the entire team across the MLR uh, getting an opportunity to get after that problem set. The large reason that we were successful in Bougainville too is because those individual Marines were actually involved, they were engaged, they stayed engaged, they did their job. That was the main reason why we were successful with those individual actions at that small unit leader and individual level.